But are, are you finished with all of your all, all that you had to do when you when you had to pull over though? Yeah, I had to come get a wait a scale ticket because I'm going to Kentucky and I don't know what uh, scales are open. Oh, okay. Well, today's Sunday. No scale should be open today. You said my scale shouldn't be, but shit, they are. A few of them. Oh, they are. Oh, okay. They they must be getting mm-hmm. they must be getting that good Sunday money in the end, huh? Uh huh. Well, that's you know, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania, Texas, Florida, Florida. Wait, sk- wait. I, I I'm California. not. I, I'm not too hip. I didn't know uh, New York had scale houses. They have a few of them, not a lot of them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Not okay. not any going towards the New York, but like over there by Albany. Uh huh. It's it's a few of them. Now they don't have that many of them. They have a few of them. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, no, so few, they ain't closing down. All right, so what headset you got on? Because you you coming in a little clear. I got on Blue Tiger. I bought this like three weeks ago. Uh, well, sounds sounds a hell of a lot better than what you had before, man. Because before, what you had before was garbage. I had to admit. Yeah, I went on and copped this. I mean, I, yeah, everybody said I, I sound much clearer on it, but uh, this thing uh, it, it takes a long time for it to Bluetooth back or something. Oh, okay. like if I turn Bluetooth off or something, I'll put it on the put it on a charger it takes a long time for it to plug back in that's something i don't like about it all right man we about to we about to get this started you 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 remember the you you remember the topic right yes okay should a man pay for his woman's hair to get done all right hold on right quick we about to get we about to get started What's going on, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, I'm I I just don't know. I, I'm enjoying myself, having some home time right quick. Just got home recently. Came from the hotel. Truck was in the shop and everything. But uh, this topic right here, man, I, I threw this out in the uh, I threw this out in the community post a while back. And I, I said I was going to come back to you guys and I was going to talk about it. So, I got a special guest on right now to help me to, uh, to help me with the discussion. You guys know her. You guys love her. Shape World is in the house. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get, into, uh, get into this conversation right quick. You know what I'm saying? Well, welcome everybody to the podcast. I really do appreciate you being here. My name is Lockout Men. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this. Today's topic, man, you know, I I figure I was going to, you know, just, just switch it up for you guys, you know what I'm saying? Because Shape World, she came, she did a live feed, uh, a, a while back, you know what I'm saying? And you guys should go and check out her channel. You know, it's Shape World 15 on YouTube and Shape World uh, TV on uh, Instagram. And she's definitely a friend of the show. You know, she's been on here a few times, you know, to talk about her experience out in uh, out in these trucking streets. And in her live feed, you know, she tried to she tried to switch it up for you guys. You know what I'm saying? Try to try to shake you know, try to shake it up a little bit. But in one particular live feed, she was talking about relationships and uh, her being the trucker, she kind of had a uh, a hard time uh, landing a good relationship with the opposite sex, you know, because, you know, she's a truck driver and everything. So being a truck driver, we, we can't, you know, we, I guess we could have a good relationship being the truck driver. Is that possible? You know what I'm saying? But I I figured I was like, Hey, I came across this other question that was piggybacking off of, you know, off of what she was talking about. And, uh, and it's dealing with relationships. So I, I figure I'll throw it out there and we'll talk about it. 
So the question is for you guys, all right? The question is, should a man pay for his girlfriend to get her hair done? Now, key word here is girlfriend. Now, I did not say wife, fiance, significant other. I did not say all of that. I said girlfriend. You see what I'm saying? So there's a difference. Girlfriend. So should a man pay for his girlfriend to get her hair done? Yes, no, and why? So, Shape World. Now, you, you, you female trucker out here, and I, I'm sure you had a, I'm sure you, you had a, a, a few, you know, a few relationships with some gentlemen out here. Uh, how, how do you feel about, about the topic at hand? Should a man, should a man, uh, should a man pay for his girlfriend's hair to get done? I, I think that if you number one, to answer the question, yes. I think that it's a surefire way to show appreciation to your woman. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's, that's one of the one things is to make sure you and her stay. And then another thing is to make sure you and her stay on a good level to where y'all keep that closeness. Because a lot of relationships and marriages, they drift so far apart because they be so worried about business and kids and life and their what? mom, brothers, sisters, and... You know, it's just, well, this, well, this topic, this particular question is not geared towards the 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 married to the married couple because, of course, the married couple, the man is going to always make sure that his wife is on point, regardless. You know what I'm saying? He's going to pay for her hair done, nails done, face done, uh, spas, and all that other stuff. So this is not pretty much geared towards. Uh, a married couple per se this is geared towards you know a uh, boyfriend girlfriend situation you see what i'm saying you know they, they i mean you know married couple they got ties to each other but a boyfriend but a boyfriend girlfriend they they really don't have i mean they got a little bit of ties to each other if the relationship is tight but but they really don't have no 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 ties to each other, and this is what this is geared to. So, I mean, as far as as far as being married, yeah, they can, they can, you know, that that's going to be on point. But but what do you feel about a a a, a boyfriend girlfriend situation, man and a woman situation? Should he should he get her hair done or her her nails done or her her face done? Um, yes, I, I think she, he should. To me, it's all about appreciating your woman and making sure there's a closeness there. It's the same thing almost for me, for, for the married and for just for a regular boyfriend and girlfriend for me. Uh, a lot of men don't like to do it because it's not macho. It's not, you got some of those real uh, alpha males that just don't like to take no court or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you have some men that, that's kind of metrosexual and it doesn't bother them they'll sit right there right next to their wife getting their feet and just getting their nails cleaned or something mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying okay 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 so so you say yes so you you say yes a man a man boyfriend uh, you know a, or a man should should uh pay for his woman's uh hair did uh uh nails done or uh, facial or whatever you feel that he should pay for for that yes i do okay Thank you too. so okay so what do you so okay so if you feel that if, if you feel that how okay so if you feel that way how long should they be in a relationship before the man starts to starts to do that should it be like right off the? Um, should it be right off the bat? Should it be a couple of weeks? Should it be some months? What? What? When? When? Um, when should he start? Uh, when should he start kicking out? Kicking out the dough for for getting okay, the, his I, 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 and, and, and we we got to play this thing fair. We got to think about the man and the situation. Right. So let's just keep it 
Like for real, dating, dating for dating and courting women for a man is expensive thing. Period. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And he may not be that type of cat that's making six figures a year to where there's almost nothing to do. So, mm-hmm. and even then, he still got a budget if he has a job or two. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Or his own obligations. So I don't think that it should be something that's immediate. I don't think it should be something he started immediate. I think it should be anywhere from a few weeks to a, to a couple months, or maybe a month or two. Whenever you get the okay, light, and fun, but, that she's really into you like that. That she's not just gold digging. She's not in this thing for profit. You and her really are in sync. Y'all on the same wavelength mentally. And you that's why, that way you feel like you're really making a real investment into something that can grow into yeah. something else. Okay, so, <clears throat> okay, okay, all right. So, I came across this this video uh, a while back. Um, I think I did a reaction. I, need, I think I did a you reaction. Know I need some shit. Hold on. I don't need you to be like, well, my check. Okay, hold on, right quick. I think I found it. Hold on. Let's see. Is this it? Hold on. Um, fraud, but like, like rapping or like. Hold on. Hold on. I know, but like, I can't. Okay, so I found I found this video uh a while back. I had to I had to uh I had to cue it up right quick. So so my question was, you know, should a man pay for, you know, should a man pay for his woman's hair did? But it it it, it can be a, a little bit more broad in scope. Like, you know, like I said before, facial, nails, uh lashes, and all like that. But this 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 female right here she came she she came on the show and she uh she put out there she said she can't she can't uh she can't mess with a 9 to 5 nigga you know what i'm saying this is what she said ain't fuck with no nigga that work at 9 to 5 I don't know why. I just need a fast money ass nigga. It don't necessarily have to be like drugs or like fr- um, fraud, but like like rapping or like dealing with media or like shit like that. Just like get it. You want a nigga with no- so what? Like, what are we like if I come to you and I need some shit, I don't need you to be like, well, my check come on Friday. Fuck that. I need you. Okay, so so for a female to come out to, to come out and present herself that way, shape. What do you what do you say about what do you say about that? Now, what, what do you say about that? Because there's a lot of women like her that can't f- that that can't fuck with that can't fuck with niggas that can't get her shit. Uh-huh. So what do you? What well, do you- so I want to make sure I heard the clip correctly. She said she wants she wanted a man that can get fast money, not selling drugs, but doing media or rapping. Is that what she said, right? No, no. She said she said she want a fast money type nigga, but not the niggas that's selling drugs or anything like that. But she wants somebody that's that's in the rap world or in the um in the in the media world where she can where she can where they can get that fast money. Okay. Um. Well, just be careful with a person that's it's all that she's the type. She's the type of woman that do anything to get herself out there, hmm. right? So all, all, all men need to be aware of that type of man. But, you know, if a woman is pretty enough, you know, you may fall for it, you know. So the sad part about it is she's going to find a dude that fits those qualifications that she's looking for. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I feel like all men are weak for a beautiful woman. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Uh, do I have an agreement with what she feels like? No. Um, now. It's okay to want to make money and not take a long time to make it, but you also want to have a man that also is thinking about his future, not just right now. Okay. So a lot she... of men in the media and get that fast cash that they're very flashy, which leaves you open to a lot of different things. You're flashy with everything that you have. So, you know what I'm saying? She, so she's the type. So she's the type that. Uh, I, I'm I'm going to assume that she's the type that feels that a man should pay for, you know, for her for should pay for her her hair her 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 makeup her nails and all like that. So you know, like I said before, I threw this out in the community and I got a lot of feedback from from the community. So check it out. Um, Marie Smith says no. 
if they cannot afford to do it, if they cannot afford to do it, you shouldn't expect someone else to pay for it. Are you going out because are uh, it says, are you going out because the money and are willing to spend it all on you? What happens when the money runs out? Maybe the question should be if he pays for her to be, I mean, pays for her to have her hair done, uh, have her hair done. Would she be willing to live in a tent down by the river? What, what do you say about that one? All right. So basically what she's saying is the money is that are spent it, but when the money is gone, mm -hmm. will she be willing? No, she ain't she be willing to stick in. She's not going to be willing to stick in when the money gone. Mm -hmm. if, it was, if, it, if it was superficial from the start, it's going to be that way. Mm -hmm. It's only maybe 2 or 3% of, of relationships that started off with the man making a lot of money mm -hmm. and something happened, he gets sick or he loses his job or get in trouble or whatever, mm -hmm. that he don't make that much and a woman sticks in if it's been superficial from the start. That's why I say I'm not okay for the men. I do I do root for y'all on one end by breaking y'all bread because money don't come easy whether mm -hmm. you get a lot of it or not. Mm -hmm. uh, and when it comes towards dating, because you got to check and guard yourself too, because these women own a lot of games. I hate to say that. It makes it harder for us decent ones, but they are. I definitely can acknowledge that I don't live in a one bubble box. I'm not a huge uh, womanizer. Hear me war. I'm very realistic. You okay. understand? Okay. So, very realistic. So I. Oh, yeah. So if the man, so if the man is okay, so if you going back from what you said, if the if you say yes that a man should that a man should pay for his girlfriend's hair to get done, uh, makeup, nails, and all like that, then then should the feet should the should the female that's that's the girlfriend should she accept uh the situation that they're in? So say like what like Marie Smith said. Are you willing to live in a tent but down by the river? Are are you willing to live in a tent down by the river if the man is is paying to make sure that I mean paying to get your hair done, nails done, and all like that? Um, I mean, what is the hair and the nails got to live in a tent? That don't even make sense. I I so mean, long I, as you long as you look for it. As long as you're not living the part, that's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, like. Hold up. Hold up. You you can look the part but not live in the part. So if I live, so if I get, if if I'm willing to get your hair done, your nails done, your feet done, your makeup and all like that, and I, I happen to live in a, a one-bedroom shack, you know, that's not, that's not pretty. You mean to tell me you you you're not gonna come in and you you you're not gonna come in and live with me if I ask you to move in with me, if I'm willing to do all of that, if I'm if I if I ask you to come in to help me out, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well then we can scratch all the hair and nails and makeup and just and be and be a team together and build on what we need to build on. What is all the excess superficial? Ball riding little girl type tip that we all need. Well, that's what the female the female wants the male to the 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 you know to kick out the money. I had listen, I I had a I had a, I don't think I told this story, but I had I I went on a date uh several years ago, and um, I came to this young lady's house. It was an apartment, right? You know, right? You know, it was a nice, nice apartment. It wasn't nothing in there. It was like, you know, take, you know, the table, refrigerator, a uh, uh, stove, and you know, the bedroom or whatever, whatever. So I'm, you know, I came to, I came to take her out. I was going to take her to like, uh, to uh, Olive Garden. At least that's what's the plan. So I get, uh, I get there. She invited me in the house, and we go. You know, I go and sit down. No, I like that. You know, she goes to the bedroom, get ready, come back out and take, you know, before we leave, or at least I thought we was, she takes me over to the kitchen. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, well, we about to, we about to cook. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm good with that. This chick opens up the refrigerator. She didn't even have a, she didn't even have a carton of milk in there. The motherfucking refrigerator is empty. All right. The, the, refrigerator, the refrigerator is empty. 
I'm sitting here like I'm I'm standing here like, oh okay. So then she looks up at me and she was like, yeah, you know, I had a, you know, I didn't get a chance to go grocery shopping or whatever, whatever. Um, but uh, can you tell me what what kind of friend can you be? I'm looking at her like, whoa. What, what what do you mean? What kind of friend can I be? You know what I'm saying? In the in the back of my head, I'm going like, what, what, what kind of friend can I be? I'm, I'm I, I, I thought I thought I was going to be like I, I was thinking more of like you know if the relationship was going to go good, you could have been my girlfriend or whatever, whatever. But you know, uh-huh. I, so she uh so she shut the refrigerator, and um and we go over to sit down, and she was just started talking about. You know what she needs. She's kind of like, uh, she's kind of like on the downside right now. She's in between jobs and all like that. So I'm going like, okay, I need to get up. I said I did like this. I said, can I go and use the restroom right quick? So I go in, the, you know, I go in the restroom, you know, in the bathroom. Call my son up, and I says, uh, I said, son, call. I said, as soon as I hang up, call me. Like, as soon as I hang up, call me. So I, you know, wash my hands, come back out and uh, and sit down. And I was about to say something, but, of course, the phone rang. And, you know, my son's on the phone. And he was like, you know, he, he didn't know what was going on. He was like, Dad, you told me to call you back. And I'm on the other side going like, um, oh, Grandma needs me to come home or something like that? Uh, oh, okay. Did, uh, oh, okay. Well, I, I'll be there in a minute. So I guess up and I tell I tell her I said well you you know what I am so sorry to cut this short but uh unfortunately something's going on at the house and all like that and she was like oh okay no 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 problem maybe we can get together again no that uh-huh. that that never happened no not not again uh-huh. but um but yeah but you got women out there that's you know that's that's try to I, I, I call it I call it run I call it running game or whatever because uh-huh. I, I'm I'm a believer I'm like this I, I if I'm gonna mess with you you gotta have your own you gotta have your own job uh, you 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 don't have to have a car or whatever but you gotta at least have your own job and and doing something with yourself I I can't be your sugar daddy. You know what I'm saying? He, I, I'm a truck driver, but I'm a truck driver, but I can't be your sugar daddy. So, by, so me, I mean, if if the relationship, if the relationship was a good relationship between me and the female, and it lasts a little bit, then yeah, I don't have a problem paying for your paying for your hair, your nails, and all like that. I, I, it's not like I'm. I feel like I'm going to get something in return from you because you know some guys. You know, like if they go that route, then of course they're gonna want something in return. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna want that pee right off the rip. Like, yo, if I'm paying, if I'm paying for your your shit, then I, I want that pee whenever I want. Like if if it's two, three o'clock in the morning and you know, I, I come from the club feeling kind of freaky and I come over and knock on the door, yeah, you better be ready. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying that's that's how some guys think, man. Um, Jason P says no, should implies to have to, and he wouldn't be he wouldn't be wrong if he did not, in my opinion. But if she doesn't have the, if she doesn't have the funds, and you want her to look you want her to be looking her best on your arm, then why not? If she's broke and doesn't want to work. Then that's another issue. What, what do you think about that? Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, I respect it. I respect it. Um, a lot of the men that are NFL players, NBA players, uh, doctors, lawyers, and people like Jay Z and music. A lot of those men don't want a woman that don't have nothing no way. Mm-hmm. It's only very few, two or three percent of them that'll take a woman that don't have nothing. But even with that woman that don't have nothing, she got to be a potential. She got to be going to school. She has to have even more than just no kids, only one child. You know, it has to be a balance there out for what he's willing to accept in his life 
to a level and dedication of what he's done for what he's achieved for himself. Mm-hmm. You understand? I don't want to see a man that makes a million dollars a year go bring a chick out of McDonald's. I mean, it just don't make sense. Why? He just, he deserves more than that, right? Well, well, some females, some females had that Cinderella story at one point. I mean, uh, you know. Uh, a dude come, you know, a dude come walking up into McDonald's or Burger King or something like that, and they uh, they they hit it off. You know, he'll come back and be like, "Yo, let me just take you, let me just take you away." You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, some females have that that Cinderella thing, but it in the in the real world though, I I kind of agree with you though. Carrie Williams says, yeah. Carrie Williams says that that it is up to him, but it's her head. And if she wants, if she wants it done, then she should be able to pay for it on her own. Okay. I, I well, agree. I mean, if he that type of man, he, he's one of those super alpha males that just don't have time for it, you know. Uh, don't have time for it, don't. You know, but it's, it's the thing about it with that particular alpha male, you come and enjoy what she looks like because you can't get your hands off her. So there's a reason why you're attracted to her in the first place. So I feel like even now and then, he can say, well, you look beautiful today or I want us to spend all day together and we're going to go back and massage together. I know I spent that much time with you in the last three, four weeks, but we're going to go have a dinner together. We're going to go get our get 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 the nail shot and we're gonna have a massage together, go see my suits together or something, and we'll have dinner. You know, you got the those type of alpha males, unfortunately, they don't know how to appreciate their woman. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see most alpha male men are, are single. Hmm. Most of the real super I'm a home man, I ain't no part of this. Um uh I don't understand a lot of nonsense and don't like share a lot of emotion and I'm a tough guy. Hmm. I don't have respect for when another man cries. So they that super alpha male. That's what he sound like. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so let me. So so back back up to what I what I previously said about the uh, about the P move. So do you think is it, it you you think it's fair for the man to pay for you know to pay for all this stuff that the woman that the woman asked for him to pay for the hair, the makeup, the the nails, and all like that. Uh, let me ask you this: You being a woman, all right? So don't take me the wrong way. But do you think it's fair for the man to get something in return? Um. Hmm. Uh, uh, um. Mm. So you so you said so you saying yes, but you you saying yes, but I I think we're gonna leave uh, this other we're gonna leave that on the table for uh, another topic because I I want to know <laughs> I I, I want to know I, I want to know I'm, as a matter of fact I'm gonna go in, like tomorrow I'm think I'm gonna ask this question and pull it out and get it ready for for the following podcast but um, I I want to know how long should a man wait in you know in the beginning of the relationship how long should a man wait for the pee 
You know what I'm saying? Not not for paying for anything, but I'm just saying starting off a relationship. How long should the man wait for the pee? That's that's going to be another. That's going to well, be another. Can no, I no, no. Say that's that. No, 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 no. Don't say nothing at all because that's going to be for another topic. That's going to be for another topic. We're, we're yes, the topic. Sir. The type. Yes, the, the topic at hand is should a man pay for a woman's hair? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Vivian, she says no, 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 not Vivian. Uh, India, she says no. She's a girlfriend, not his wife, and that's and it's his choice. Should a woman be paying for their boyfriend's haircuts? Hmm, that's a good that that's a good question. I mean, men get groomed up too, right? I mean, we got um, yeah. We we need we we need to get you know like you know get haircuts and all like that. So so is it so is it fair for what she says? Should a woman pay for get for for her boyfriend haircuts? Well, okay, I'm can I keep it real with you? I keep it keep it real. I paid for, uh, well, we were living together. This is a guy I was living together. Mm-hmm. And I paid for a whole day on his birthday for everything, haircut, but that's, shirt, pants, shoes, but shape, dinner. shape. That's a that's a birthday. That's that's a given. You know, that's a birthday. I'm talking about uh, on a on a regular. Should a should a woman pay for a guy's haircut on a regular? If 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 no so, no if, I don't, no, no no. So so if some of the so so it's 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 uh it's a triple entendre. You say yes for the man to pay for your hair to get your hair did. But no, for you not to get his haircut. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm. Mm. Okay. okay. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, what's, I'm what's a real woman. Yes. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm a real woman. I don't pursue no man. Okay. Okay. And I know a lot of ladies and watch the player. They understand that. So mm-hmm. if, I, if you're not a you're a real woman, you're not pursuing a man. Why should I cover for anything from him straight from the gate? I mean, who does that besides the woman that's completely desperate? Or just really just here to be in the sugar mama. Because you got some of those ladies that make that big money. And they kind of like to be in the sugar mama role. They like it and they get off of it. Because I know one that's a pharmacist. And she has a nigga that she chick money. All right, so not, so so ninety percent of the women in that 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 answer the that answer the posts, ninety percent of them says yes. Like Vivian, she says yes because he wants her to look sexy and because he loves her, but it works both ways. Now you know what I haven't even threw the love part in there. I, I really haven't. I haven't threw the love part in there. I mean, you know, if the relationship goes as far as it goes and feelings come into play, then yeah, the the man should, you know, make sure that his, his girlfriend is taken care of if she needs it. You know what I'm saying? You know, but I, I just think that the girlfriend, she, she needs to make sure that she's, she's, she's doing her part. Like, you know, you you can't just be okay. You can't just be a bum bitch, all right. You know, you can't just you you can't just be a bum bitch like like this chick that I just played earlier. She can't, you know, if she needs something, if she needs something, she can't wait to Friday. She can't wait to Friday to get to get it. That's a bum bitch, you know. Because if a if if a dude that's if a dude has feelings for you, and you want to take care of you. And you need something like your hair did, and you can't wait until Friday until he get paid. Uh-huh. Then, then what? 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 What kind of chick you are? Huh. You got some women that got it in their head that they supposed to be taken care of. You know what I'm saying? You got some wives. You got some ladies in their forties and fifties now that ain't worked in years. They been fully dependent on their husband. Well, some some are even fully dependent on uh on their child on their if they got kids they they fully dependent on their kids uh child support you know what I'm saying well that's another uh-huh. that's another topic too for discussion that's probably might be geared towards the end <laughs> but uh Keisha let's see let's see let's see uh I can't pronounce I can't pronounce her name 
But uh, she says, hell yeah, I don't have any problems with making sure that, oh, this is a guy. That looked like a guy? Hold on right quick. I gotta. Uh, but I guess that's a guy. But he said, but he said, hell yeah, I don't have any problems making sure my girlfriend or wife is straight by getting her hair or nails done, especially if she has my back when needed. Now that's that's a that's a good one. That that's that's a good one right there. Now I I'm, I feel the same way. If I don't if I don't have a problem, I don't have a problem taking care of you, making sure you're looking good, but. You, you know, you got to have my back. You know what I'm saying? You got to, you got to ride for me for whatever, for whatever I'm doing. So if, you know, if, if I lose my job or something like that, you got to support me in order for me to get, you know, to get another job, not, you know, support me mentally, physically, you know what I'm saying? You know, be my cheerleader, you know, to help me, you know, help me, you know, get a focus on getting another job to make sure that we, we, you know, we taking care of the household. You know what I'm saying? What okay, you, can, I, can I give you an example? Can what? I give you an example so I can make sure that me and other ladies understand what mm -hmm. you're saying? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay, let's just say you, you're in trucking mm -hmm. and I'm at home. I'm a substitute teacher or something. I don't make a whole lot of money. Okay. But I got my own apartment, my own car. Okay. We start dating, we get serious. And you're in trucking. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, right. Uh, right. Let's right. just say, let's just say you get into a rollover your mm -hmm. company driver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, your company driver. You get into a rollover. Mm -hmm. I'm at home every day. I'm a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And let's just say they fire you. Okay. You love trucking. I right. knew you love trucking. Right. When I got with you. Okay. You trucking when I got with you. Okay. We've been together for over a year. Okay. We were not getting along with each other. As a woman, wait, we're getting along with woman, each other. We're we're getting along with each other. Getting along with each other. Okay, okay. Getting along with each other. We've been together for a year, okay, right? Okay. I think if you were, if if he if you was to come to me and say, "Well, ma, I want to do trucking. I think we can make some money, mm -hmm. and I can better keep taking care of you." Mm -hmm. Let's say I already had one child that wasn't yours or something. You know, uh, better take care of you and better help you. We can all come up if. Well, I got seven thousand dollars, and I and can I borrow another two or three for you? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my own truck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get my own authority, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. And and I want you to be at home and help me do some paperwork and answer some of the phones sometimes for me. And I'm gonna break you off some of this money. I'm gonna break you off some twenty three percent of what I make every week. If you don't put this in for me, I get this thing started. Something happened. What I was going unexpected. You knew I, and I know you were doing this. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As a lady, and you've been let's just say you've been paying my rent from me or something. Mm -hmm. You've been paying my rent for the whole year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Help me take care of a child that's not even yours. As a woman, if I really liked it, you, mm -hmm. and you really been 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 good to me, get my hair and nails done, and all that kind of stuff, make she come home and come see me often, I would be game for giving you that two or three thousand dollars. Okay, so you so you so. So you, so, so you would, so, so you would, you know, ride for that dude if, yes. if, if he yes. was, if he was to help you out and he, he happens to fall on hard times. Yes. Okay. I've had it. Like I've had, a, I've had a living boyfriend. Um, he paid the rent because I was like the man to pay the rent or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's just me. My mm -hmm. own personal reason. We'll talk about it later on a personal note. Mm -hmm. But, uh, and he, he needed something for his car and. Uh, he know how to fix on the car of it himself, but he didn't have a car. Okay. And his driving cut the hours. They were slowly, you know, slowly shutting down, and they're slowly getting laid off. And he wouldn't get as much hours as he was. So I bought the car. The car was three hundred dollars. So, and all that time he been paying the rent for me. So I mean, if she's a real woman, and like I said, if she really do, really, really love or like you. She's going to be a team player at some point. Okay, then that's what's up. Especially, especially when we know we got a man that loves us or cares about us and really tries. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what's well, up. I got you. Know, I got we you. Gotta know we got a man that tries or you know, make sure we stay looking good or, you know, make sure, you know, you say make sure buy or something we can. And, you know, that when you, if she's any kind of real woman, fellas, I'll be paying attention to this, she will be a team player. Okay, that's what's up. She definitely right. will be. Now, so, she bounces, and that's, you might need to reevaluate the relationship. All right, so when, so Wendelin, Wendelin, 
Wendelin? Wendelin says, this seems to be a throwback to the days before the perm was popular. If the man played and messed up the hair, he needs to get it fixed. <laughs> She if the said, man plays and mess up the hair, then he needs what? She said if the man's if the man plays and messes up her hair, it means that if he plays in her hair, like you know, runs his fingers through her hair and you know, messes up the hair. I, I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is like during sex. Like, you know, how the man like to grab the hair, mess up the hair and all like uh, that. Yeah. I'm, I'm assuming this is during sex. She said that the dude. She said the dude need to get it fixed. So yeah, the dude needs to get her hair done if he messes it up. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely with that. <laughs> and don't let her have a sewing in her hair. Don't let <laughs> don't let her have a sewing in her hair. Oh, they make oh they make my wings. Oh, we be pissed when y'all say hi up. <laughs> Eric How Eric Howard said hell no. He he feels that uh he feels that we you know the guy shouldn't pay. Um let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh Jamaica says if he wants it done a certain way, I have I had I had a guy tell me he didn't like weave, so he paid for me to get my natural hair done weekly. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well he mm. probably one of those type of men that like that women more than more natural. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but but to pay for it every week though. So uh, so if he so if he got the money for it, if he got the money for it. So I guess I I guess I guess after if they you know I guess if they broke up I don't you know she's by the sounds of it she said had so this is past tense so she's back to wearing weave then. You know what I'm saying? So I guess she will be the type of female that if you don't like my hair a certain way, you pay for it to get it done a certain way that you like. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Uh, Joel says, of course he can if he has the money. So, Joel, what what if he doesn't have the money? <laughs> Uh, Donnell says, yes, man should pay for his girlfriend to get it, get her hair done. Nails done and toes done. If that's wait, if that, I wait, if that's what she wants, she's a reflection of him. But we talk, but what we're talking about, not in an, not an advanced stage of the relationship. You know, I, I guess, I guess we're talking about like in the beginning and in the middle stages of the relationship. Should a man pay for, should a man pay for his girl, girlfriends to get her hair done? Should a woman, should a woman pay for the man to get his hair cut? Shape world says no. Hell, I said, yeah, if I'm paying, if I'm paying for your, if I'm paying for your hair to get done. Yeah. Hell yeah. I want you to pay for my haircut. My haircut don't cost that much. My haircut is twenty dollars. You know what I'm saying? My my haircut is twenty dollars. Your hair could go anywhere from fifty, seventy five, a hundred, and more. You know, so if I'm if I'm kicking out that kind of money just to get your hair done, then hell yeah, I want you to kick out twenty dollars to get my hair cut. You know. I, that's that's what I think. That's what I think. Uh, Cassandra says he doesn't have to, or he doesn't have to, but it's something you appreciate if he decides to do it. So, shape do w- do you appreciate if a guy uh get your hair and nails done, your your toes done, your makeup? You, would you appreciate him? And if so, how would you show that appreciation to him? Oh. Um, I, I would appreciate it, number one. Mm-hmm. And two, I would make sure that, you know, people see, you know, like, you know, when we get flowers bought for them and things that they posted online and mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff, you know, if I would tell maybe my mom or somebody, like, you know, you bought this for me or something like that, and, and then I would definitely make sure that I take into consideration that, 
this man is really serious about me and him. So maybe, maybe I was talking to other dudes. Probably like slowly coming off. I'll come so complete all the way up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Because for me, when a man does something like this, that means it's worth genuine interest in you. Mm-hmm. So it may be time to stop antagonizing or entertaining too many other men. Well, well, that's what's up, man. I, I like to thank my girl. Uh, hold on, right quick. I like to thank my girl Shape Will for coming in and uh, chopping it up with me on this topic, right quick. Uh, the next topic that we uh, that I think I'm going to go ahead and throw out is um, hold on right quick how long should a man wait for the pee hmm. you know what I'm saying uh, that, that's going to be the that's hmm. going to be the next topic I'm going to go ahead and get that together and uh, put that in a put that in a community post and and see what you guys have to say about that and we'll come back and uh, we'll come back and chop it up on that. Uh, so shape world. Before I let you go, and you you you, you may come back for for this particular topic. I don't know who's who's going to come in for this topic, but <laughs> I, I, I may bring you back. But before before I let you go, would would what's your opinion on that? How long should a man wait for the pee? I will say that topic when you bring it up because I have plenty of say. Mm. <laughs> I have plenty of say on it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> nah. mm. Well, guys, hey, I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys listening. If you like content like this and more, please hit that like, sus- subscribe, share, and comment, and hit that all, I mean, hit that bell and that all button. For more content like this, man, I am your humble host, Lockout Men, my special guest, Shape World 15. You guys, go ahead and make sure you check her out, man. She has some good content on her channel. She talks she, she talks everything, you know what I'm, th- I'm saying? Right now, she's getting into the uh, real estate game, so go over there and fo- follow, her, um, follow her journey on that. Uh, Shape World 15 on YouTube and Shape World TV on Instagram. All right. On that note, me and Shape, we are gone.